things is you just double click this little square and you can change the whole color of it in one uh, color swatch uh, click. And then I'm going to merge these two together, the bottom and the uh, that little circle I made. So I'm going to see, you can see it's one piece now. Now, holding control and shift, you can, um, wait, is it control? Yeah, you, you, okay, so you hold control, let me in, hold control on this part right here of the top, so hold control, then while still holding control, hold shift and click, and you see how there's a little plus sign with the box, you want to then click on the top, on the uh, bar layer. So now we select the whole form. And I'm going to go back up to my folder where it says bar, and then hit that quick mask button that we did before. So I masked that out, so now no color is going to be able to escape from the sides of it. I'm going to call this layer 1. Okay, so we got 1, top, and glow. Now I'm going to drag the glow below top. So now you have on the very bottom you have 1, then you have glow, then you have top. On the glow layer, remember we have it on color dodge and the transparency is turned off. Let's grab white, press OK, and hit get a brush. You want to get like maybe a fuzz brush like the one we made, maybe about that size, and just drag quickly down. And look at that, you got a metal bar. And I'm going to go on the outside because of the ambient light. Just drag it down the side. And then with chrome bars, you'll notice that uh, just actually just about anything in nature has a certain core shadow to it. So we're going to add a layer above, whoops, add a layer above layer one and call this layer two. And I'm going to make this our core shadow. So I'm going to select the center color and just go a little bit darker than that and press OK. Get the uh, slightly fuzz brush and a little smaller, okay, and I'm just going to drag down. That'll give us our subtle but pretty effective um, uh, core shadow. So you got your highlight, your core shadow, and your ambient light. And then if you really want to top it off, you can go above the mask. So we're going to make a layer above that mask, and we're going to create a bloom effect. So what you can do is just hit B, select white, and I'm just going to go over it once like that hit V and I'm going to move it and I'm just going to tone it down, the fill down a little bit so it has a little bit of glow to it, it's a bloom effect and uh, you can also like erase the one side or something like that, you know, just whatever you're, wherever you think your light's coming from. Alright, so um, I think that's it for now. Oh wait, actually I wanted to go over one thing, I want to show how these colors are applied to a uh, actual drawing. Um, so let's go to, let's see what file it is. I don't know where it is. Ah, here it is, cowboy. So we have a cowboy picture. And um, in my previous tutorial, I was saying how you can knock out the lines from the background and make it transparent, right? Or make the white transparent. But in this situation, my drawing's a complete mess. And it was just in a sketchbook, it's really quick. But I still like the drawing, so and I want to throw some paints on it. So the lines are really not that salvageable on this. They're, they're super sloppy. And I drew, you know, I drew it in like it's a couple minutes. So what I'm going to do is take this layer, turn it to multiply, you know, right here, turn it to multiply, and uh, add a new layer above it. And I'm going to add a layer below it. Let's put this layer here. And I'm going to call the layer below it BG for background. Now I'm going to go click a uh, color to uh, put it on, uh, to set the whole drawing on. So dark blue, sounds good. Click it, fill it in. So now your drawing, since it's on multiply, and note this drawing is desaturated. There's no color in it. So if you need to desaturate, you just select the whole layer and hit control shift U. That, that'll desaturate the image for you. So now on that layer, I'm going to knock down his uh, opacity really low just so I can barely see it. Now on layer one, I'm going to grab that pen tool again and pick out a dark color for a flesh tone. Let's see, something like, uh, something like that. Okay, it's on the red side a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to block in wherever I want his face to be, uh, I'm going to go really quick here, so it's going to be pretty sharp. Uh, wherever I want to color in uh, skin tone for his face. There we go. Actually, you know what? Let's put this below our layer. There you go. I put, I dragged it below the drawing so you can still see the lines a little bit. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, now this has got a weird cut curve, so I'm going to hold Alt 
or actually no, I'm going to hold control, hold control, drag it in, there we go, got rid of that curve, and I'm just going to go up real quick, we're going to cut off his ear, just for the time being, and there, we roughly got his shape. So from there, you hit, you go to layer uh, that you have a shape, we're going to call it one, add a folder, call it, uh, let's say, face, and then we're going to drag that number one layer into the face folder. And then we're going to hover over the shape that you see here, uh, over the thumbnail, and hold control and click. And then it'll outline your shape. Now click on the folder while it's still selected. And you hit that mask button we talked about. And then you go back into the folder, make a new layer, and call it two. So one in this situation is my darkest color. Two is going to be a, a lighter value. So I'm going to hit uh, B and get it, uh, let's see, that new brush we made, that 441. And I'm gonna select a little bit higher of a value and add some warmth to it. So I'm gonna go a little more on the orange side, just like that. So now I can start blocking in where I think the color should start to get brighter. So I'm treating that bottom shape or that bottom uh, reddish pink color as the shadow of this character. And I'm using the orange, this orangish color to show the highlights. And again, you can just go back to your fuzzy brush and like uh, delete stuff to create shadow. So if you went too uh, overboard, you can just erase it out. And I'm going to use it to pop out the cheek here. Really pushing the form on this thing. Um, put some on the chin. And then, you know, if I feel like right now it's looking a little bit on the orange side, so what I'm going to do is uh, go to Image Adjustments Hue and just uh, tweak it a little bit until I find a color that I think works better. So there you go, add a little bit of pink to it. So, and oh, uh, the other thing is too, you can get that uh, the selector and knock things out if you want to get really careful about it. So like, let's say I don't want to touch a certain part, you can just get that selector out hit E and then get your brush just so you can prove it's like taping off or masking off something see how I just touched the edge there now look I got a crevice and uh, it'll keep uh, all the other parts in attack, intact also don't be afraid to use the lasso where you can just like pick out parts and sharpen things if you need to this is really sharp right there um, probably wouldn't want to go that sharp so I'm going to um, add a little more of a gradient to it but there you go uh, Eventually, um, these videos will get to like full walkthroughs. I just want to make sure everybody's on the same page with like the techniques I'm using. So if uh, you get confused as to what I'm putting down on paper, you can always refer to these videos and go, oh, that's how he's pulling up that window and et cetera. So anyway, um, next video up, uh, the next video I'm going to be putting up is going to be some um, more uh, perspective tricks. Uh, I've had some requests for like people in perspective and uh, I'm going to throw in some car perspective tricks for the industrial designers out there or you know product design uh, style of drawing. Um, so uh, and then from there I'll probably go into more of the finalized uh, painted walkthroughs and stuff like that. Thanks for watching guys.